Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. All right, it is going to be cooler this weekend, but today's rain moving on out just in time yeah. for the weekend. Yeah, but it's so cold out there with the it wind. But this is normal. This is normal. It, it is. It's. I agree so with you. No, it is cold. normal, but I'm just saying it's a little shocking You're both after right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Every <laughs> Everybody's right. It is typical February, but it is cold compared to what we've been dealing with. So throw your hands up. We are going up on the uh, weather roller coaster ride today. We ended up seeing temperatures up around 70 degrees. Well, that was yesterday. It's going to be about 25 degrees colder as we head into the day tomorrow. So quite a shock to the system. That's for sure. No way about it. But we are going to see temperatures warm up again as we head into Sunday. We're already up around 50 degrees. We're in the upper 50s on Monday. And again, the average high for this time of year is 39. We get the closest to that tomorrow. So that's why we're saying it's it's a little bit more like winter out there for your Saturday. And then around this time next week, that could be the start of a cooler weather pattern as well. I still don't see any big prolonged signs of winter cold, but at least enough to kind of feel more like the month as we head towards around this time next week. Now, the reason we are going from temperatures in the 50s and even 60s back down to the 30s is because of those scattered rain, snow showers, even sleep pellets that came down earlier today. This is moving on out of here now, though, and temperatures are in free fall. Mid 20s in Torrington, low 30s in the Hartford area, middle 30s right now along the Connecticut shoreline. And it feels like the teens for a lot of locations when you factor in the winds. These are the sustained winds, which means that the winds are blowing consistently out of the northwest, anywhere between about 10 to 25 miles per hour. And we have some higher gusts up to around 30. The winds will slowly diminish and relax as we head through the evening tonight and especially through the day tomorrow. So it's still a little brisk to start off the day tomorrow, but not as windy as what we have going on out there right now. So here's a look at those wind chills overnight, staying in to the teens. They're in the teens first thing tomorrow if you're waking up early in the morning. But then as the wind calms down, the wind chill not as much of a factor by afternoon. Lots of sunshine. The weekend looks great. Again, it's cooler, but it's still really pleasant. High temperatures will end up climbing into the lower 40s for most of the state, including 43 in Hartford, 43 the high temperature for the New Haven area, and right around the 40 degree mark in Wyndham. But look at Sunday. Again, we're already back in the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees. We have several chances for rain as we head into next week. We have a more active weather pattern to talk about, and we're going to be riding the line between very cold air to the north and very warm air to the south. 70s and 80s compared to 40s and 30s, and well, Mount Washington doesn't count there in the single digits. So we're walking a fine line, I think, for later in the week to see if we could get a wintry precipitation of some sort. Thursday would be the day to watch for that, depending on where we end up on either side of that temperature contrast. But here's a look at that seven day chance for an early morning shower on Monday. The rest of the day looks dry, but we'll keep a lot of clouds around and it is quite warm near 50 degrees on Tuesday. At some point Tuesday into Wednesday, there is a chance for another round of showers to move through. And then again on Thursday, that's when we're watching that opportunity for rain or rain mixing in with maybe a little bit of sleet or snow, depending on the track of that. And by this time next week, we're close to 40 degrees. Your shoreline seven day. We go from the 40s back up to the mid 50s on Monday for President's Day. A lot of kiddos going to be out at the parks and we're staying close to 50 degrees for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So once again, this does not look like a February seven day forecast, guys.